Hello everyone. <coughs> Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss NCRT Math Exercise 3.5. Okay. Now, in the first question, question number one, which of the following pairs of linear equations has unique solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions? In case there is a unique solution, find it by cross multiplication method. So this is the first pair of given equations. Now during the introduction class of chapter 3, I have already discussed the different types of solution for a pair of linear equations in two variables. I will highlight to you again. Consider the general form of linear equations in two variables. So, pair of linear equations in two variables is always of the form a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals to 0. We consider this as equation 1. And a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. This is your second equation. So, pair of linear equations in two variables should always be in this form. We take this as the general form. Now, there are three kinds of solution and how to determine what kind of solution given pair of linear equations has. You just need to compare the ratio of A1 and A2, ratio of B1 and B2, and ratio of C1 and C2. We need to find the ratio of A1 and A2, find the ratio of B1 and B2, and find the ratio of C1 and C2. And you compare the three ratios. <laughs> the first condition, if you observe that the first ratio A1 upon A2 is not equal to B1 upon B2. If the first two ratios are not equal, then we say that your given pair of equations has unique solution. In this case, the given pair of linear equations has unique solution. The second case, if you observe that the first two ratios are, not e are equal, but if it is not equal with the third ratio, that is if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 upon B2, but if it is not equal with the third ratio, if it is not equal to C1 upon C2, then the given pair of linear equations has no solution. But if you observe that all the three ratios are equal, if A1 upon A2 is equal to B1 upon B2 is equal to C1 upon C2, if all the three ratios are equal, then your given pair of linear equations has infinite number of solutions or infinitely many solutions so these are the three cases and these are the three types of solution that a pair of linear equations in two variables can have now using this concept we will solve the first question of exercise 3.5 So the question says, in case there is a unique solution, find it by cross-multiplication method. We will first determine what kind of solution the given pair of linear equations has. In case, only if there is a unique solution, we will find it by cross-multiplication method. Now let us learn what is cross-multiplication method. Now again, consider the general form of linear, of pair of linear equations in two variables. 
a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. This is your first equation. a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. This is your second equation. Now how to solve these equations, this system of equations or this pair of equations by cross-multiplication method? It's very simple. Cross-multiplication method says by cross-multiplication method okay, we have x upon when you consider x when you consider x you remove the term containing x you remove the term containing x and you cross multiply the coefficient of y and the constant term okay the coefficient of y and the constant term here okay in order to make things more clear i'm going to write a1 coefficient of x b1 coefficient of y c1 as the constant term from the first equation a2 as the coefficient of x b2 coefficient of y and c2 as the constant term from the second equation when you are taking x okay then you remove or you neglect the coefficient of x and you cross multiply cross multiply the remaining terms means b1 c1 and b2 c2 in this order first you are going to multiply b1 and c2 so b1 gets multiplied with c2 so i'm going to write here b1 gets multiplied with c2 minus and then we multiply b2 and c1 first b1 gets multiplied with c2 minus b2 gets multiplied with c1 b2 gets multiplied with c1 it's very simple to follow equals to we need to write equals to here when you write y when you write y what we do is we neglect the coefficient of y then we write only the coefficient of x and the constant term from the first equation coefficient of x and the constant term from the second equation so when you are taking y you neglect the coefficients of y and cross multiply the remaining things in the reverse order as that of first one in the first case we multiply in this way in this manner following following this arrow this time what we are going to do is we are going to cross multiply them in the reverse order in the reverse order okay that means c1 gets multiplied with a2 first and then c2 gets multiplied with a1 in the second i'm repeating again we cross multiply the remaining terms in the reverse order means c1 gets multiplied with a2 in the first place minus c2 gets multiplied with a1 in the second place so first c1 gets multiplied with a2 c1 gets multiplied with a2 minus and c2 gets multiplied with a1 okay is equal to we are going to write here one and then one represents the constant term here one represents the constant term here x represents the term containing x here y represents the term containing y and here one represents the constant term so when you are taking one then you neglect the terms uh, you neglect the constant terms and you write the coefficient of x coefficient of y from the first equation coefficient of x and coefficient of y from the second equation and you cross multiply these terms okay in the same order that we have written below x that means a1 gets multiplied with b2 first minus a2 gets multiplied with b1 in the second place okay so 
a1 gets multiplied with b2 first a1 gets multiplied with b2 first minus a2 gets multiplied with b1 so this particular formula is known as your cross multiplication method now using this formula and only if there is a unique solution okay only if the given pair of linear equations has unique solution we solve it using cross multiplication method using this particular formula so let us start okay so these are the given pair of linear equations so i'm going to start the solution by writing the given equations so given pair of linear okay or i can say given pair of equations given pair of equations are x minus 3y minus 3 equals to 0 that is your first equation 3x minus 9y minus 2 is equal to 0 that is your second equation now we check the ratio of a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 and compare them only if there is a unique solution only if the first two ratios are not equal then we have unique solution only then we do it by cross multiplication method so a1 a1 means coefficient of x in the first equation here x is present so its coefficient will be 1 so a1 is 1 here the coefficient of y in the first equation is minus 3 so b1 is minus 3 and the constant term in the first equation is minus 3 again so c1 is also minus 3 now coefficient of x in the second equation is 3 a2 is 3 coefficient of y in the second equation is minus 9 so b2 is minus 9 and the constant term in the second equation is minus 2 so c2 is minus 2 now we find out the ratio of a1 and a2 now a1 upon a2 ratio of a1 and a2 is equal to 1 by 2 you make sure that the ratio are always in the simplest form b1 upon b2 minus 3 upon minus 9 minus minus gets eliminated 3 1 times is 3 3 3 is 9 so b1 upon b2 is 1 by 3 now we find the ratio of the constant term c1 upon c2 minus 3 upon minus 2 minus minus gets cancelled so we have 3 upon 2 so the first ratio a1 upon a2 is 1 by 3 the second ratio b1 upon b2 is 1 by 3 again that means the first two ratios are equal but the third ratio is 3 by 2 so the first two ratios are equal but it is not equal with the third ratio so since a1 upon a2 the first ratio is equal to your second ratio but it is not equal with the third ratio so what kind of solution the given pair of equations has the given pair of equations will have no solution in that case no cr cross multiplication method can be done so therefore the given pair the given pair of equations equations has no solution no solution so no values of x and no values of y can be determined by cross multiplication method so that is the first question okay now we go for question number one roman two we go for roman two Now we solve exercise 3.5 question number one Roman two okay given pair of equations are 
the first equation, 2x plus y equals to 5 is your first equation. We know that the general form of a pair of linear equations in two variables are a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Here we see that both the constant terms c1 and c2 are on the same side, okay, with that of the terms containing x and y. And on the right hand side, we have 0. So we have to arrange the given equations accordingly. Here, 5 being the constant term in the first equation, okay, should be placed on the same side along with the terms containing x and y. So we rearrange this equation and write 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. That's your first equation. And the other equation, 3x plus 2y equals to 8. So we arrange this as 3x plus 2y and then minus 8 equal to 0. That is your equation number 2. Now we compare the ratios. Okay. Your a1 here, coefficient of x is 2. b1, here we have only y. If we have only y means its coefficient is 1. So b1 is 1. And the constant term is minus 5. That is from the first equation. From the second equation, coefficient of x, a2 is 3. Coefficient of y, b2 is 2. The constant term c2 is minus 8. Now we compare the ratios of a1, a2, b1, b2, c1, c2. Okay? Accordingly, we will determine what kind of solution the given pair of equations has. In case there is a unique solution, we will solve it by the method of cross multiplication. Now, let's compare. a1 upon a2 is 2 by 3. b1 upon b2 is 1 by 2. C1 upon C2 is minus 5 upon minus 8. Here, minus, minus, cancel. Here, your first ratio is 2 upon 3. And your second ratio is 1 by 2. 2 by 3 is never equal to 1 by 2. So, since the first ratio is not equal to your second ratio. Now, if the first two ratios are not equal, then the given pair of equations has unique solution. They have unique solution. And hence, we can find them by using cross-multiplication method. Therefore, by cross-multiplication method. In cross-multiplication method, we have x upon b1 times c2 minus b2 times c1 equals to y upon c1 times a2 minus c2 times a1 equals to 1 upon a1 times b2 minus a2 times b1. Now, let us put the values in the formula below. x upon b1 times c2 b1 is 1 times c2 minus a product of b1 and c2 enclosed within the parenthesis minus from the formula. b2 times c1, b2 is 2, c1 is minus 5 enclosed between the parenthesis equals to y upon c1 a2, your c1 is minus 5 times a2 is 3 minus from the formula c2 times a1 c2 is minus 8 times a1 is 2 equals to 1 upon a1 times b2 your a1 is 2 into b2 is also 2 minus a2 times b1 3 into 1 now this implies x upon 1 times minus 8 is minus 8, okay? Now, minus from the formula, 
2 times minus 5 is minus. And we have another minus, so we write in, in the parentheses. So y upon minus 5 times 3 is minus 15. Minus, and then inside the parentheses, minus 8 times 2, we have minus 16. <laughs> Equals to 1 upon 2, 2 times 6 is 4. Minus 3, 1 times is 3. So this implies x upon x upon minus 8 minus minus plus 10. We call the y upon minus 15 minus minus plus 16 equals to 1 upon 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. So this implies x upon 2 equals to y upon 1 is equal to 1 upon 1. Now we have three equal ratios. This is equal to this is equal to this. We have three equal ratios, so you can take any two ratios and find the solution. Now, if we take the first two ratios, here the value of x is unknown, y is also unknown, so we cannot simplify. So what we have to do is we have to take one unknown ratio and a known ratio. So using first and third ratio, we get x. So taking first and third ratio. If you use first and third ratio, then we have x upon 2 is equal to 1 upon 1. If you cross multiply, x is equal to 2. And if you use second and third ratio, then y upon 1 is equal to 1 upon 1. So if you cross multiply, y is equal to 1. Therefore, the solution obtained is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. This completes the solution for Roman number 2. Now we go for Roman number 3. In Roman number 3, the given equations are, let me see from the textbook, 3x minus 5y equal to 20. 3x minus 5y is equal to 20. And the second equation, 6x minus 10y equal to 40. 6x minus 10y equal to 40. Now, given pair of equations are, 3x minus 5y equal to 20, where we need to rearrange this as we have done in the previous question. 3x minus 5y minus 20 equal to 0. That is the first equation. And then from the second equation, 6x minus 10y equal to 40. Then if you rearrange this, 6x minus 10y minus 40 is equal to 0. Second equation. Now, coefficient of x in the first equation is 3, so a1 is 3. Coefficient of y in the first equation is minus 5. Constant term in the first equation is minus 20. Coefficient of x from the second equation is 6. Coefficient of y in the second equation is minus 10. Constant term from the second equation is minus 40. Now, let us compare the ratio of a1, a2, b1, b2, and c1, c2 a1 upon a2 is 3 upon 6, 3 1 times is 3, 3 2 times is 6, so the first ratio is 1 upon 2. b1 upon b2 is equal to minus 5 upon minus 10, minus minus cancel, 5 1 times, 5 2 times, so the second ratio is also 1 by 2. Now let us check for the third ratio, the third ratio is c1 upon c2 is minus 20 upon minus 40. 2, 1 times, 2, 2 times, so 1 by 2. We see that all the three ratios are equal since a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2. All the three ratios are equal. Therefore, the given pair of equations has infinite, infinite number of solutions. So if there is a no solution or if there is infinite number of solutions, 
then we cannot simplify the given, we cannot solve the equations by using cross multiplication method. So we okay, end up the question over there. Now the fourth one, the fourth question. Question number one, Roman four now. The given equations are x minus 3y minus 7 is 0. x minus 3y minus 7 equal to 0. So this is your first given equation. The second given equation is 3x minus 3y. 3x minus 3y minus 15 equal to 0. We have to make sure that the equations are correct. So x minus 3y minus 7 is 0. 3x minus 3y minus 15 is 0. Okay. So given pair of equations are x minus 3y minus 7 equal to 0. First given equation. And then your second given equation is 3x minus 3y minus 15 is 0. Second equation. A1. Coefficient of x in the first equation. That term the coefficient of x in the first equation will be 1, okay, so 1. Coefficient of y in the first equation is minus 3. See, in an equation, if there is only x, then its coefficient will be 1. In an equation, if there is only y, then its coefficient will be 1, okay. The constant term here is minus 7. From the second equation, coefficient of x is 3, coefficient of y is minus 3, the constant term is minus 15. Let's compare the ratio. A1 upon A2, on the 3. B1 upon B2, minus 3 upon minus 3, minus minus cancel, 3, 1 times is 3. The ratio is only 1. C1 upon C2, we need not check because the first two ratios are not equal. So we have unique solution. Okay? Since A1 upon A2 is not equal to B1 upon B2, first two ratios are not equal. Therefore, the given pair of equations has unique solution. So we can solve it using the cross multiplication method. Therefore, by cross multiplication method, we have x upon b1 times c2 minus b2 times c1. Equals to y upon c1 times a2 minus c2 times a1 is equal to 1 upon c1 times a2 minus c. Oh no, I'm sorry, 1 upon a1 times b2 minus a2 times b1. So that's your cross multiplication method. So let me substitute the values x upon b1 times c2 minus 3 into minus 15 enclosed in the parenthesis minus from the formula b2 times c1 minus 3 times minus 7 equal to y upon c1 times a2 minus 7 times 3 in the bracket minus c2 times a1 minus 15 times 1 1 upon a1 times b2, 1 times minus 3, minus from the formula, a2 times b1, 3 times minus 3. So this implies x upon minus minus plus 15 trees are 45, minus from the formula, minus minus plus 3, 7 times is 21. y upon minus 7 times 3 is 21, minus from the formula, Minus 15 times 1 is minus 15. Equal to 1 upon 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. Minus from the formula, 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. 
So x upon 24, y upon minus 21 plus 15, 1 upon minus 3 plus 9, minus minus plus and 9. So we have x upon 24, y upon minus 6, okay, minus 21 plus 15 minus 6 equals to 1 upon 6. Now we have three equal ratios, okay, these three ratios are in proportion, they are equal. So if we take the first and the third ratio, so taking first and third ratio, we have x upon 24 equals to 1 by 6, you cross multiply, 6x is 24, this implies x will be equal to 4. 24 upon 6, 6 4 times 6, 24. If we take the second and the third ratio, y upon minus 6 equals to 1 by 6, you cross multiply. 6 times y is minus 6. So y equals to minus 6 upon 6, 6 1 times, so y is equal to minus 1. Therefore, x equals to 4, y is equal to minus 1, are the required solution, is the required solution for a given pair of linear equations.